Parkway TV 10. You're watching Joy TV 10. Welcome to The Daily with Mark and Laura Lynn. I'm Mark Washington. And I'm Laura Lynn Tyler Thompson. And I'm wondering, Mark, if you have ever sung in a choir? Actually, yes. Really? Yes, well, I Well, I do. hear you singing like the Bebop Eubotics at the back there. And I the wonder... The, the bebop. bebop. Yeah, you're Girl, like You know a I'm bebopper. singing traditional gospel. Well, you're, hymn. Yeah, I'm you're doing Grace Travis. What's, what's the guy's name tonight? Uh, Travis, um... What is it? No, no, Randy, Randy. Travis. Randy yeah, Travis. Yeah, that's it, Randy Travis. Yeah, you know, I'm singing Randy Travis back there. You know me. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't no. want to lose my saddle because uh, don't, don't ever sell your so saddle. Long. Don't yeah. sell your okay. saddle. That's right. it. But no, I used to sing in a choir. Yeah? Up. yeah. Were you good? <sighs> I, I, could hold a, I could hold a note. You could hold it. I, I yeah. mean, I can right here in my hand. I, I come hold it from here. a long line of um, people that are tone deaf, like oh, really? my dad. Can't sing a they, For routinely, for entertainment at church, <laughs> they would have my dad and this other missionary lady. My mom can keep a tone, right. uh, can keep the tune, right? But my dad couldn't. So they would ask your dad to yeah, sing? Yeah, to sing. A, this is in church? A very, yeah, simple oh, song, man. and you my dad would go off key. And, you know, I've somewhat inherited that. Well, yeah. So I'll be singing along pretty good, and then suddenly it's like, and everyone goes, Arr! like did that. You, did you see that movie, Happy Feet? Yes. So you sing like him? Kind of. In a, you know, but I got happy feet. You've seen me dance. I can sure dance. No. <laughs> I mean, nothing beats that, that's for sure. No. Sarah, where did it all begin? Uh, this beautiful voice that you have, it took flight when? Uh, probably I was, I was quite young when I was in school. I was involved with church choir. I was involved with school choir, community choir. I was always you singing. You love to sing, yes, obviously. Yes. And uh, when I was in school, I was playing, um, I started learning guitar and classical guitar. Mm -hmm. And uh, very shortly after started sort of um, writing little songs and, and it was pretty obvious that I liked music. It did your family passion. spurn you on to, you know, to pursue this? Uh, my parents did when they realized that it was something I really enjoyed doing and and that I seemed to, you know, have, have a, a good feel for music. And, and so they got me into lessons and I took some guitar lessons and some vocal lessons and it just signed, sort of went from there. And, and as I became older and I was able to go into bars, I started playing the bar circuit right. uh, in the Lower And how mainland. different was that from church? I mean, oh, that's a lot different. The obvious. <laughs> that's a lot different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, a lot different. Uh, but it's a lot of fun, too. And you learn a lot. I've played with so many great musicians and, and worked with so many different uh, songwriters. And I've learned everything about my craft from doing it, from watching other people doing it, and from just having mentors it's around sort of me. a school in and of itself. Absolutely. I, I don't think there are so many things you can't learn any other way that have to be learned in the moment when you're on stage and, and working with these other musicians really helped me a lot with that. And so that sort of has helped me develop my craft. And I just, I just love music. It's just such a big part of my life. Hmm. Yeah. So when was the moment when you sort of, you took it that step farther and you knew that you're going to make your life's career almost about this? It sort of um, happened a little bit naturally because I, as I was working with these musicians um, playing the circuit, I was meeting with people who wanted to songwrite with me. And one of those individuals, um, he's actually a Juno award-winning songwriter. His name's Tim Hersey. He's one of my co-writers. Um, there are two that I write with, two gentlemen. And... I just, we just, it just sort of came mm -hmm. naturally. We started writing like good music connection. together. Absolutely, and, and our experiences were different and our influences were different and it made for a great music mm -hmm. together. So it, it's been sort of a natural progression. And you, your, your first CD actually had, you know, was critically acclaimed and did very well. And, and you've established sort of a bass core fan mm -hmm. base from that. Uh, mostly in the southern states. I'm getting a lot of um, play on both country radio and Americana. 
Describe that for me, Americana rock. Americana is a roots movement of music. Mm -hmm. So it probably started with people like, say, an Elvis Presley when he started mixing rockabilly with R&B and blues. And it didn't fit into country and it didn't fit into rock. So this it's Americana, Americana rock. movement. And there are a lot of artists that are part of the Americana movement. Joan Osborne, Tom Petty, John Mellencamp. All influences for my music and, and my co-writers. The truth behind real-life mysteries and crime stories. 